Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything else I've got going on. Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts and everything, and give the video a like as well. So, in this video I am going to give you my opinion on these Qatar links. So, to start it all off, let's just put, the, put everything on the table right now. So, in my opinion, the sale of Liverpool Football Club, FSG are wanting to sell to Americans. They still want to sell to Americans. But I think what has happened is the Americans that are interested can't get the money together. And that is rumoured to be HSBE, the current owners or investors or whatever they are at Crystal Palace. They can't get the capital together to pay for what FSG want. Because I don't think FSG are going to budge on their price because they have other ventures that they want to invest in. Be it the NBA, be it NFL, whatever it is. They have other things that they want to spend their money on basically when they sell Liverpool. So, I think that's why it's taken so long for the club to sell, due to FSG's stance. I think they've kind of tried to delay it and hold off as much as they can because they've got no pressure to sell. So, they're trying to give Americans or whoever it is from the West more time to get the money together. But, two things have changed in my opinion. One, these Americans can't get the capital together at all within a time frame that FSG is looking for. Two... The performances of the team have deteriorated to a point now where FSG is under pressure to act in the transfer market and I don't think they're willing to do it to a certain point. Yes, we signed Gakpo. Yes, we probably did go in for Casado, but we were scared off by the valuation and FSG are not willing to pay over the odds for midfielders in this window. So what that's what I think's changed there. Now, these Qatar links, when they first came out yesterday... I didn't think anything of them because we've known for months now, since the beginning when it all first came out, that there's been interest in Liverpool from all over the world, be it Qataris, Chinese, Middle Eastern, like whatever. You know, there's been interest from all over. But what happened yesterday is there is a Twitter site called This Is Anfield or This This Is Anfield Talk or something like that. Let me just quickly search it up before I start butchering it. Uh, and the Anfield Talk, they got a, an ex. They put a tweet out of an exclusive from a, um, a prominent Qatari sports journalist who was one of the first ones to jump on and put out there that Salah had signed a new deal or would be signing a new deal with Liverpool. And at the same time as that, I was still kind of like, yeah, it's not news that we've you know we've not heard. You know, like we were aware of this. It is what it is. But then today. We had an image leak, right, that shows Mo Salah sat at a table with the chairman of PSG. Now, I'm going to put the image up here and then people, like, just so you can show that it is Mo Salah. Here's the image of Mo Salah wearing the jumper that he put up five days ago. Now, some people are saying that this meeting took place around the time we played Brentford down in London. Now, Salah put this picture up five days ago, and I think the Brentford game was two weeks ago. So, there's a bit of a time gap there, but who, it, that is definitely Mo Salah. And when you look at the, this guy on the left-hand side with the white top on, you can just see the side of his face. That looks like the PSG owner, or the chairman, whatever he is over there. Now, some people are saying the guy in the middle with the cap on is Jamie Carragher. Now... I can't quite make that out, but at the same time, I can see why people are saying it, yeah? And now you've got to think, why are they sat down having a meeting with Mo Salah? And if there's that, if that is Jamie Carragher, why Jamie Carragher? So you got to think of it this way, aren't you guys? Mo Salah is Liverpool's best player, and Jamie Carragher is probably one of Liverpool's most prominent media personalities out there. He's on Sky Sports, he does the Champions League and other stuff, so he's out there, we see a lot of him. So they've been wanting to get him on board basically and they probably want to get Salah on board you know being like yeah you're having a bad season but we're going to come in we're going to do this blah de, blah de, blah do you know what I mean you you are a, like a Muslim like we want to make you like the pinnacle of this club you know stuff like that you know it, I don't know if I'm getting that out correctly but you know they'd want to make him like the centre point of the reason why they're buying the club you know it'd be massive wouldn't it huge for, the, for Liverpool and for Mo Salah and whoever you know for the region, if they could buy Liverpool over PSG. 
you know, who's to say they're not going to keep PSG? I saw a little thing earlier on today where they were saying that um, the loophole is is that it was a company that bought PSG, whereas this could be an individual that's buying Liverpool, and that's the loophole there. Now, I don't know. I'm not a businessman. I don't know nothing about like that, but it sounds like something that could happen in football. You know, we all know football's corrupt, so it sounds like something that could potentially happen. Now, this picture has kind of changed my mind on a few things because that is definitely Mo Salah, 100%. That is definitely the chairman of PSG. I can't say that's Jamie Carragher, yes or no, I really can't. But what I'm going to say is, is this image has been leaked by somebody just because if, like, I don't know, guys, like, just think about it yourself. Like, they were sat in a restaurant. There's tables empty all around them apart from the one to the left, surely they'd see if someone got the phone out. Do you know what I mean? So I think this is a little bit orchestrated as this because of what I said previously, is that FSG want to sell to Americans. Now, I think they're getting this out because they're willing to pay whatever it is to buy Liverpool potentially, but FSG are reluctant to pay. And then obviously we've got the club in the form it is now, crying out for investment in midfielders and the team has an overhaul now because I personally think we need a new centre-back as well and potentially new go a set of new backup goalkeeper. We need some money proper investing in this squad in the summer, guys. We really do. So I think this is all... This Qatari bid, this is them going on the offensive and getting the fans riled up because as well, let's come out just now, like tonight, that... Um, that journalist from Qatar has put a tweet out of a poll and it basically goes do you support Qatar's acquisition of Liverpool FC yes you'll never walk alone which has got 78.5 percent no 17.3 other club question mark 4.2 percent I think they're going on an offensive here in my opinion they're trying to get the fans on side to put pressure on FSG and I do think that FSG need pressure putting on them, otherwise they're just gonna drag their feet in the ground and not want to sell. If we if if we can put pressure on them, you know, they listen to everything, you know, PR, they're the, the kings of it basically, aren't they? You know, they watch everything that everyone does, you know, when FSG outs tweet you know, trending, they're all over that. You know, that stuff that happened with the Red Sox where John Henry got booed, they're now gone out and spent 300 odd million dollars whatever it is on that one player for 11 years i don't know guys um apparently we've got visitors at the chelsea game this weekend who's these visitors nobody knows is it tied to this potentially but if we do have visitors there to potentially come and buy the club then that to me would also say that the big heads of like fsg are going to turn up and also there is supposedly some protests going to happen so maybe FSG won't turn up. Maybe these visits won't go ahead. Who knows, guys? It's all up in the air right now. But what I'm going to say is is I'm coming around on this Qatari link now just because of that picture. Why are they together? There's only two reasons. It's either to talk about the sale of Liverpool or Salah being spoke to to go to PSG. If that is Jamie Carragher, it ain't him going to PSG. It's about the sale of the club, isn't it? I don't know. I can't tell if it's Jamie Carragher or not. You tell me. What do you think? But... Um, yeah, guys, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. I basically just wanted to say that FSG is still, you know, dragging their feet in the mud about the sale of the club because they want to sell to Americans. I think the Qatari consortium, whatever it is, has gone on the um, PR offensive. I think that image was leaked. I really do. These type of things, they know what they're doing. They know who's around them. They would have known that that picture was being taken. That's what I think. I think this is a PR move by the Qatari bid, shall we say to get the fans on side and let's see what happens this weekend with visitors and protests whatever but end of the day guys we've got to keep that pressure up on fsg we could still do some business in this window if we keep it up enough this st stuff calling for Klopp out I, I don't agree with he's not been supported enough has he you know when this news was first brought out that the club was up for sale he looked happy as old didn't he looked proper buzzing but then all of a sudden we've got into this January window and he's seen how little investment we're getting. 
he's gone back down again and he looks like just a man lost for ideas. But anyway, I'm going to leave that video there. I hope I've made sense. Let me know down below what you think. Give the video a like. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.